Hello everyone, we will take one more example for the DFA state minimization. In this graph, you can see that A is the start state and B, C and G are the final states. Along with this, you can see that A is the state from which we just have the outgoing transitions. Obviously, A is the start state. So this is likely that uh, there will be the outgoing transitions only from the A. But if you see the state F, here also there are the states, there are the transitions which are going out of the F, but there is no transition which is coming to F. So if F is not the initial state, then this kind of the state is a dead state for us or this kind of the state is not required in the DFA because we can never reach to this state by any of the transitions starting from the start state, we can never reach to the state F. So if a state has only the outgoing transition and it is not the initial state, then I should actually eliminate this state and should not be considered in the DFA. So I hope this makes sense that we are not including this state in the DFA. So I can eliminate the state F. And the right hand side shows a transition table which does not contain the state F. Now, the zero equivalence for the zero equivalence, we will segregate the initial and the final states. So, in this table also, let's segregate B is a, as a final state, C as a final state, and G as a final state. So, one of the set would be A, D, and E, and the another set would be B, C, and G. So this is the zero equivalence. And for one equivalence, I'll find out the pairs. So I'll first take the pair of A and D. Now if you see, the A on getting a symbol zero goes to B, D on getting a symbol zero goes to G. So B and G are in the same set. A on one goes to C, and D on 1 goes to G. So C and G, they are in the same set. So hence I will say that the A, D are 1 equivalent. I take another pair, A and E. Now A on 0 goes to B, E on 0 goes to G. B and G are in the same set. A on 1 goes to C and E on 1 goes to G. So C and G, they are in the same sets. Hence, I'll say that A and E are one equivalent. So the set did not change in this one equivalence. Now let's take a pair of B and C. Now B on 0 goes to D and C on 0 goes to E. So D and E belong to the same set. Now B and C on 1 go to E and D respectively. And E and D also belong to the same set. And so I'll say that B and C are one equivalent. After this, I'll take another pair that is B and G. B goes to D on getting zero. And G goes to G. So D and G, they are not in the same set. One goes to D, D is in the, this set and G is in the, in the another set, so they are not one equivalent. It means that we, have, we can segregate B and C in the different set and G in the different set. So this is the outcome of one equivalent. So this is the outcome of one equivalent. Now I'll perform the two equivalents. Now for performing the two equivalents, the pairs that I have to check is for A, D. Let's see if A, D belong to the same set or not. So let's take it off. So A on 0 goes to B. D on 0 goes to G. And B and G are not in the same set. Hence, I'll say that A and D are not two equivalent. Now, I'll take a pair A and E. So A and E, A on 
zero goes to B and E on zero goes to G. We can see that B, B and G, they are not in the same set. So A and E are not two equivalent. So since A, D are not two equivalent, A, E are not two equivalent. So let us check the D, E pair also so that I can make sure of where they are actually landing up. So D on zero goes to G, E on zero also goes to G. D on one goes to G and E on zero also goes to G. It means that they are in the same set. So D and E are two equivalent. So by this, we can make a decision that A belongs to the different set and D and E belong to the different set. Okay, now we will have to check for BC also. So let's do the work here. So B on zero goes to D, C on zero goes to E. Are D and E in the same set? Yes, they are in the same set. Now we'll take a pair B and C for one transition, for the transition with symbol one. So it goes to E and C goes to D. So it is also C and E and D means in the same set. So I'll say that they are two equivalent. So the outcome of two equivalence is this one. Right. So we have got the outcome of two equivalence. Now having done the outcome uh, two equivalence, we will check for the three equivalence. Let's mark it here that this is the outcome of the two equivalence. So now I'm going to check about the three equivalence. For the three equivalence, I have to check for two pairs only. One of the pair is D E. So D on zero goes to G and E on zero also goes to G. D on one goes to G and E on one also goes to G. So it means that they are three equivalent. Now for B C, B on zero goes to D and C on zero goes to E. So D, E belong to the same set. B on one goes to E and C on one goes to D. So E, D belong to the same set. Hence, I'll say that these two are three equivalents. It means that there is no change in between two equivalents and three equivalents. So I remain with these things. It means the four states. And let's rewrite the state transition table according to the new arrangement. Now here it is said that D and E belong to the same set. It means that we will scratch out the state E. B and C belong to the same set. It means we will scratch out the state C. So the final table will comprise of only four states. One of them is A, another one is D, E, and then another one is B, C, and another one is G. Now the transitions to mark here, A on zero goes to B, it means B, C state, and A on one also goes to B, C state. D, E means D state and E state combined, both of them go to G state, BC goes to D, it means DE. BC on one also go to E, it means this is DE. G on zero goes to G and G on one also goes to G. So let's draw the DFA table. Uh, sorry, the DFA state transition diagram. And yes, one thing to remember that B and G are the final states, it means that BC and G will be the final state here in this state transition diagram or the DFA. So A is the start state and then on getting a zero, you go to BC state and on getting one also, you will go to BC state. In BC, if you get a zero or the one, you go to state DE. 
in DE with 0 or 1, you go to state G. G is the final state and BC is the final state. So this is the minimized DFA for the given DFA. So I hope it makes sense. Uh, and uh, in the next lecture, uh, we will discuss about one more method of the state transition. And this is known as the Myhill-Nerod theorem. Thanks for watching this video.